Hi guys, this is Nandini at Surviving Medical School 101 and welcome back. Wow, it's been a long time since I've filmed and I'm really sorry for the delay but to say that the semester of med school has been hectic would be the understatement of the month. Anyways, I'm back now with the last video of 2015 and as you can all tell from the title, today we're going to be talking about what books, resources and study techniques I used to study physiology. Physiology is a very important course in med school because without understanding physiology, you're going to have a very hard time grasping patho in your second year and patho or the study of diseases is the basis of uh, medicine and surgery. So I would say that physiology is one of the most important courses uh, in your first year and it's a really fun course. Personally, physiology was my favorite subject. That is not to say that it didn't give me trouble because physiology is a subject that gave me a lot of trouble. And the reason for that is that there is no one perfect book or one perfect method of studying physio. There are so many good books and resources out there that it's a challenge to find uh, the perfect one that suits you and you know, uh, that, that is going to work for you. So today in this video my goal is going to be to tell you about all these book, good books and resources of physiology that are out there and hopefully help you guys uh, figure out what works for you. So without further ado, let's get started. In this video I'm going to be talking about uh, the books of physiology under three subheadings. First I'm going to be talking about foreign authors followed by Indian authors. And lastly, I'm going to mention a few quick review books and prep manuals of physiology. First, we're going to be talking about foreign authors. So let's start off by talking about what's considered the Bible of physiology across the medical community. Yes, I'm talking about the very famous Guyton and Hall's textbook of medical physiology. Now, this book is humongous. I had to get this book cut and bound into uh, two volumes just so I could like handle it a little bit easier. Is it a good book? Yes, it's a fantastic book. It's called a Bible for a reason. But in my opinion, it's a little bit too vast and diffuse to use as your textbook. I used to use this as a reference or as a bedtime read for uh, concepts that I couldn't understand from my textbook or, you know, if there were topics that I wanted to read more about, I would use uh, Guyton and it made those concepts and topics crystal clear in my head. So this is a great book, a great reference, but According to me, not a textbook. However, I do know some people who prefer to use this as a textbook and if you're one of them, then I would just recommend that make sure you make notes for every chapter because you're not going to be able to go back and study from this during your exams. This is way too vast. Now, Guyton is a slightly pricey book. So in case you cannot buy it, then at least download the PDF version of it. It's available very readily on the net. This is a great book and as a medical student, I believe you should have it, but more of as a reference than as a text. Next, we are going to talk about Ganong's uh, Review of Medical Physiology, which is a land publication book. This is a good book, but it's very underrated. And the reason for that is that the way, the form, format in which this is written is uh, not very user-friendly, if I can use the term. Uh, this is not easy to read as a first-time medical student. This is a standard textbook in my college, and it's very difficult to read as a first, uh, you know, if this is the, if it's the first time you're reading a topic and you're reading it from this book, it makes your life hell. I find this book much better for a review, which is what it's actually meant for. Uh, now that I've like completed my first year, if I need to review some topic and I go through the topic from this book, I find that it makes my concepts much more uh, clearer and you know, things make much more sense to me. So it's a very good book, but it's more of for uh, people who are reviewing their concepts, like uh, if you're preparing for your MLEs or PLABs or you know, even your Indian PGs. For uh, that purpose, is a good book. As a first year medical student, I would suggest skip this. Another book that is very, very raved about, it's a standard textbook in the United States. I'm talking about Linda Costanzo's textbook of medical physiology. Now, I have never read that book, but I've heard only positive reviews about it. I'll try to link a photo of it here. So if you are, you know, still undecided and you want to give that a try, then you can just check it out in your medical libraries. Uh, the text is supposed to be very clear and concise and to the point and it's a really high yield book, at least that's what I've heard. So if you're interested, do check that out. 
Next, we're going to be talking about a classic text in physiology. I'm talking about Samson and Wright's textbook of medical physiology. Now, this is a wonderful book, but it's not a textbook. And in all honest, honesty, it's not either a reference. This book gives you more insight into the various experiments that led to finding of uh, the different concepts of physiology. So, this is more of a leisure read if you're interested in that. This, but this is definitely not a textbook. If you're interested in finding out about more about the experiments um, that of physiology, the various experiments that led to you know discovery of the various concepts, then this is that is what this book you know will tell you. But is it a textbook? No. Is it a reference? No. So now that was all for foreign authors. Now let's talk about Indian authors of uh, medical physiology textbooks. Now, most students who study in um, Indian medical colleges, they prefer to use an Indian text. The reason being that it's simple and written in easy to grasp language. The concepts are explained very thoroughly using uh, simple illustrations, flowcharts, tables. And basically, the concepts are not just easy to understand, but they're also very easy to reproduce in the exam because like I've already mentioned in the previous videos that in Indian uh, in the Indian ed, uh, medical schools the examination pattern is more of in uh, the essay type answers we have to write long essay type answers so Indian textbooks are great because you know they're really easy to reproduce now there are many in the market and uh, I'm gonna be talking about four now I would like to make this very clear in the beginning you do not need all four the whole point is having one reliable textbook. So these are four textbooks that are, um, there's no, you know, one ultimate best textbook. There are different people use different ones and they like it that way. So I'm going to be mentioning four of the most famous ones and you guys can go check them out and see which one you like the best. Let's start by talking about the Indian text that is my holy grail textbook. This is the book that I can die for. I love this book. I'm talking about Medical Physiology by G.K. Pal. Now, this book is amazing. Yes, it's a little bit big. I mean, uh, it is a little large. However, the concepts are explained so amazingly that you'll... F I mean, it doesn't even feel like you're making an effort to understand it. Not only do I love this text, I have recommended this text to many peers and many juniors even and everyone that I've recommended it to has come back and told me that they loved it too. So this is a great great textbook if you haven't you know found your the perfect textbook I would suggest look into this because I mean I'm in love with this text. I remember when I used to I mean I needed to sit down and study physiology I would be so happy because this textbook it's written in such a way that it just makes you happy to study I mean can you imagine that? So it's written like the information is very well organized. It's in form of uh, flowcharts like this. The diagrams are really easy to comprehend. And I'll show you. Like it has flowcharts like this every couple of pages. The diagrams are. Ouch, wait. Sorry about that. Yeah, diagrams are really, really easy to not just understand but, uh, you know, make in your papers. So I would honestly highly, highly recommend this book. There is not one bad thing that I can say about this. Everything that I know of physiology, I have learned from this book and I just love it. I mean, I can marry this book. I love it that much. Now, another very famous textbook of um, in, uh, medical physiology is AKJN. I had that book. It's nice. I liked it. I just like GK Pal much more. I mean, I had it, now I've given it off to a junior, so I don't have it to uh, show you, but I can uh, put a photo of it right here. It comes in two volumes. Again, it has nice tables, flowcharts, it's easy to understand. In my opinion, I just like GK Pal better. That is just my opinion of it. You, can, you guys can go out and uh, go and check it out. If you guys like that more, then that's great. The other two books that I want to talk about are Sembalingam and Indu Khurana. I have personally looked through Indu Khurana. Again, good book. I just I had already uh, found um, G K Pal by the time I looked through it, and I just, I like this much more. I mean, uh, the text is 
I find the text and the way GK Pal is written very easy to grasp and understand. You can see me fangirling over this. So, anyways, that is just my opinion. As for Sembolingam, that is one Indian text that I haven't seen, be seen because I didn't see a point in like going out and looking for another textbook when I've already found the book that I really loved. However, if you guys haven't, then check it out. I mean, check all these four out in your nearest library and buy the one that suits you the best. The last category that I want to talk about are quick reference books and prep manuals. Now, the first book that I want to talk about is a huge cliche in my college. I'm talking about Manipal Manual of Physiology. Now, since I'm from KMC Manipal, this book is very famous in my college. Every first year student has this. Look at how thin this book is. That should tell you a lot. This is a high yield book, but this is not a book that you use as your standard textbook or, you know, to build your concepts. This is more of um, the night before the exam when you do not have time to, you know, pick up something as humongous as this. But you already know and understand the concepts in your textbook. That is when you pick up MMP, as we fondly call it. And this is a good text it has like easy to understand diagrams again and you know a lot of flow charts points it makes revision a breeze but again if you try to use this as your textbook and i know some people who try to do that they you know try to find a shortcut and just use this as a textbook you will not understand anything your concepts are gonna go down the rain and come second year patho is gonna be a pain so use this as a book to revise before the exams but not as a textbook but for that purpose as a quick review book this is really good and the last a reference book or a prep manual you can say is a vd joshi now this is vd joshi's prep manual for undergrads physiology prep manual for undergrads so the book itself says that it's a prep manual now what this is is that it's question answer format so very very relevant and handy for the Indian medical student who has to write essay uh, like answers but this is good like if a couple of weeks let's say two weeks before the exam you're freaking out you do not have the time to study from the text you would slacked off earlier pick this up study the topic from here it's good but again I would highly highly suggest that once that exam crisis is over you go back and study that topic from your standard textbook whichever it is that you use this is a good prep manual yes it is more uh, you know wholesome and uh, it's not as concise as MMP I mean just look at the size that will tell you what you need to know but this is also not a textbook I will repeat this again and again and I'm sorry uh, if I sound like redundant but physiology is very very important. The reason why most textbooks are this thick is because you do need to know this amount of knowledge. So do not try to you know take a shortcut just by trying to learn this. You're not doing yourself any favor. I mean great prep manual not a textbook. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, queries and questions, then as always, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or you can personally message me. All my contact details are going to be in the info box down below. Also, if you like this video, then do, uh, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share. Now, one quick uh, announcement before uh, you know we end this is that I have kind of realized that it's going to be very difficult for me, specifically during the semesters, to post two or three videos per month. So I'm changing my update schedule to once a month. I'll make sure that I post at least one video a month. And if I have more time, then more will, of course, go up. And that is that. I hope you guys had a great 2015. It was an amazing year for me. And... Well, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and be safe. Bye-bye.